Rebecca Brevoort, and this is Kitchen Table Productions, a show all about living well with low carb. Well, today's recipe is something very unusual, baked spinach. Now, this is so tasty. But not only is it tasty, it's also full of iron, and it is really easy to make. So I'm going to show you how to do this one right now. Now, first step, to set the oven to 300 degrees. Now, I've got a large frying pan here. This is the biggest one I've got. And I've got it over medium heat. I'm going to melt this stick of butter first. Butter makes everything better. Now this is 20 ounces of frozen chopped spinach. I defrosted it in my microwave, took about three minutes, and then I just kind of gently drained a lot of the excess water off. I'm going to add this to my bowl here. And then my next ingredient here, I've got one eight ounce brick of cream cheese. Now I've cut this into cubes to help it melt faster. My last ingredient here, is one package of dried onion soup mix. This is going to add a lot of flavor. Now I'm just going to stir and mix this up until all that cream cheese gets melted in. There we go. Now that is looking pretty good. Now I just have to transfer this to my baking vessel. Okay, or in this case, vessels. Now I've got here eight ramekins. These are about one cup each, except for this one. Uh, I'm not sure where my eighth, eight ounce ramekin went, but there you go. And I'm gonna take my little spinach mixture and I'm gonna fill it in here. Oh, almost to that inside lip. If possible, you wanna get eight servings out of what you've got. You could, if you wanted to, bake it all in one large vessel. That works too. I like these. I think they make a nice presentation on the plate. And I can easily freeze individual portions for my own lunches and such. Right, I notice I have them on a baking dish. It's got a slight lip on it. This will help catch any spills. I know it looks like it shouldn't have many spills, but this actually will bubble up a bit. Now I'm just going to bake these at 300 for 45 minutes. And here's my finished baked spinach. Yum, and only five carbs a serving. Well, that's the baked spinach. I hope you try it. For this recipe and many others, please visit my website, kitchentableproductions.net. I'm Jessica Bavort, and this has been Kitchen Table Productions.